This is my second time seeing it, so I love it. First one's amazing. This one was just, it elevated it. Like, I haven't liked animation since Arcane. Yeah, Arcane. Remember Arcane? Yes. Arcane, okay, yeah. 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 I enjoyed it, man. I wish it was a bit longer. I know it's a two and a half hour movie, but I don't mind. It felt like three hours. Yeah, it was pretty good. Had a bunch of twists. I mean, I haven't even seen the first one. It shows how good this one is, because I still enjoyed it. It was a good film. I feel like it was worth the wait, but the ending is just like, they didn't have to do that. There's some crazy stuff going on in that film, really. I mean, I'm not an animator, but um, I don't know how they did some of that film, really. I think the, the Spider-Man movie, it was all right. I don't think it was as good as the, the first one. The first one was um, a bit better. The, yeah, the soundtrack was very good in the first one. So who was your favourite character? I like the the uh, English Spider-Man, Hoagie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Gwen is up, I don't like her. Hobie Brown's my favourite. And Miles Morales love for always and forever. <laughs> I'd have to say Kobe and Miles. I mean, I liked Gwen. Yeah. I don't think Gwen's an up. I think she, she's a big up. No, I don't. Actually, I, I like the, the Indian one. Like, every time an uh, Indian character's portrayed, they, they're always like a loser, yeah. but they, they, this guy is quite cool, so I was like, okay, it's nice, that's nice to see. Just about Spider-Punk, I didn't know he was going to be so interesting, I don't know why, but it felt close to home, I don't know if it was the English actor, the voice actor. I'd say my favourite character was um, the pregnant lady on the bike. She was just a very strong, independent woman, um, like that she was like taking leadership, but I think she was iconic. I really liked uh, Spider-Man's parents. They were really funky and quite modern, contemporary. I like them. And so what do you guys think of the villains? For Miguel, I understand his character, like from like playing games and stuff, so I know his background, but he was a bit overboard with what he was doing. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really pay attention to the <laughs> to the villains. Um, I think the rest of the Spider-Mans in the Altered Universe just stood out more. But I guess I guess Spot. <laughs> Miles having to fight a version of himself, like fighting his inner demons, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's almost like him being like a venom to himself. That should be interesting. Sorry, spoilers, I don't care, you should have seen it by now. <laughs> <laughs> what was good about it is you don't really know, like there's not one main villain, he's kind of battling against all these kind of different people, even the spot, like that's only part of it. And he's having to fight against the other Spider-Man as well. So what do you guys think of the Spock? Uh, his character was okay. He was too angry for what happened to him because he kind of bore on himself. With Spock, I mean, yeah, I really liked him as a villain. Like, he was a bit jokey, but he had his purpose, like, how, why he's doing all of it. I feel like the Spock, he was a bit goofy. He needs to be more serious. That so. guy was serious. Yeah, no, no, he was not. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of just like a plot device. He didn't really get much development, but he worked for the movie, I guess. I don't know, I'd give it a 9 maybe. A 9 and 10 oh, that's very good. Yeah. I'd give it an 8. I feel like the why, why is it lost too? <laughs> it, was, it was good. It was good, but I feel like it was dragged out a little too long. I'd give it a 9 out of 10, only because of how it ended. <laughs> I'm giving it a 20 out of 10. This is great. Yeah, this is like, it's so good. Like, and the music, just animation was top tier. So what would you guys give it out of 10? I'd give it like, uh, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. 9 and a half, the ending. Yeah. It would have been a 10, but the ending. Yeah. A 9, a solid 9. I'd give it a 9 out of 10, actually. Nine out of 10. I think it's a good movie, yeah. I'd say like a uh, 7.8. Yeah, <laughs> I'll give it a nine. I I thought I I've, I've sat in the cinema and I could watch it for another three hours. The animation was so good. I give it an eight. I feel like there was a lot going on, but it was it was a really good film. This one I'll give it an eight, just because I can't wait to see what they do in the next one. I'd give it a ten personally because I like I like. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'll probably give it a. F 8.5 out of 10? 8.5. Yeah. 2030. It's not really made for me, but I really, really did enjoy that in a way which I'll come back and see it again and probably again. But I like Spectacular Spider Man. It's my favourite. Because yeah, he's just there. No. What can I say? I also like. Um. Shit, I'm not sure. Next, next person. <laughs> The ending and was just not it. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot the question. <laughs>